What is going on YouTube? It's John from Fedic coming to you with the latest war recap. CWL Season 3, Week 1. Emphatically taking a 108 to 111 loss to Elite Gaming. Uh, rough war for this one. Um, we had a lot of miscommunication there at the end, so really didn't help us out. Uh, stretched pretty thin at Town Hall 10 as well. Apparently it's vacation season, so uh, hopefully that gets better as the weeks go on. Uh, but yeah, let's just get to it. Um, we end up having some uh, not a great time on their 10s. As you see there, we did go for it to 11v11. Um, we did have some decent percentage. Uh, a lot of it was a lot of dragon hits. And uh, I'll show you a cu uh, two, va two varieties of them. We're going to burn two of their 11s. Uh, just how we work with uh, getting these dragons going in there. And I think it's definitely a strategy to keep on working on. Uh, especially what I sh what we show in the second one. Because it's actually Sig cleaning up my plan. And... I end up hitting it first and getting like 65% and just miss the town hall and a little bit of patience fixed that right up even with a missed opener part so <clears throat> let's just go ahead and watch TTT get the job done sends in a golem sends in king uh, baby dragon starts doing some funneling some bowlers go in doing some damage getting a fun nice little funnel made so the wall breakers get in make the hole uh, Kane decides he's going to go with that gold mine real fast, but after that, it's just Kane Bowler's gold mine. He drops a heal, probably didn't need to right away because that golem wasn't taking much damage, but then drops the rage. Yeah, he could have dropped the heal a lot deeper. Uh, they're going to be fighting the CC. Kane pops his ability, takes out, I think he took out the Valk. Uh, there is a witch causing problems, so we got another golem and a queen down. And that's really just the name of the game, is just creating the suicide funnels with your heroes or something. And we're going to show another variation of creating a funnel uh, on the next hit. But you see there he's got 60 troop space plus a CC to create two sides of a funnel. Pretty effective funnel. Uh, Queen's going to take out that expo as one of her last shots. Maybe even take out that sweeper. No. Easy shot on the uh, hut, though, takes it out. So we got our dragons nice and spread. They got a nice straight line right into the town hall. We got a couple balloons too. There are three balloons to follow them. And it looks like some more balloons plus CC dragon. Two rages and a freeze are going to lead the dragons all in. And they're going to drop the fences pretty quickly because of those rage balloons. Second rage is down. Freeze is down to get that sweeper. A little cheaper investment than uh, Zap Quaking it, like we've seen some pe some uh, YouTube channels doing. And once those dragons take out that air defense, they're going to get a couple extra buildings here for 59%. So we'll just speed it up. So nice hit, TTT. I'm going to show this other one just because it's a nice variety attack. Uh, like I said, I had hit this one earlier, and Sig pretty much just copies my plan with a little bit more of a patient dragon deployment. So what we're going to do here is we're going to haste, or we're not going to haste in some balloons, but I got both of these archer towers down in my opener, so I was able to get up a, a nice extra percentage of probably about three buildings on each side of minions, whereas he can only take three buildings, period. Or four. I think he just can get these four. Whereas I was able to get seven. He won't be able to do that here. Uh, I was on voice with him. Once we realized that they, he missed this one, he's like, wait, you got over 65%, right? Then I'm just going to leave this one alone. So, good call on him. It ended up working out pretty well. So we get King Queen down. Wallbreaker's in to, make, to uh, get the heroes in. And we could have probably brought a Valkyrie to, fu to funnel away these uh, elixir storages. Get it uh, gets a, so Queen goes in a little bit, but it ended up leaving up some pretty good anchor points with the Queen's uh, attention span here. So we were just suiciding this one air defense away. This whole corner, basically. Pops her ability, so she takes out the Arch Tower, takes out the Gold Storage. She's going to take out the Tesla, and then work on these storages, these huts a little bit. Pretty much no damage. Then what we're doing, we're bringing two Rages for and a Haste for a Lalo. So he's going to send in the CC Hound. Sending 
three loons each on these defenses, and then the rest of his loons over here. Got another freeze and uh, another rage, and he's got a freeze for the queen and the inferno tower. So CC is drawn, but the balloons are going to get a nice little pathing here. They're going to go up there, get that uh, air sweeper, and take out the expo before they go down. Or not the expo, but the inferno. Almost get to the expo. But that wasn't part of it. I think my loons just kept going down the side here. Taking out mortars and all that. So, gets a baby dragon down to start working on those uh, elixir storages. That actually ended up being the downfall of mine. As those pulled my dra my big dragons away. First dragon down to start doing some funnily. So, the, the uh, eagle doesn't bother the baby. Send a couple minions in to support against the uh, baby dragon on baby dragon. And minions will go up there and take out most of the skeletons. That will be a distraction. In fact, uh, the skeletons are still going to stay there, so. Now that you see there, he's got a nice funnel mate. Still three dragons in the bag. And he's able to target the queen with one of his dragons. And once the uh, big dragon takes out the sweeper, we are able to get right into the uh, town hall. And she, he freezes the queen, so some more work gets done. That gets him to 50%. A couple more billions will top it off at 52, or 54, or whatever you got. So, it is. it does pay to be patient with those dragons. Really think out your funnel. Next up, we have some 10v10 action. We had, uh, what do we have here? We had in and out with a 10v10. And this one was relatively early. Just bringing the mass miners. Brings a golem to tank for the queen, so... It's a nice little trick, too. I've seen three people bringing three healers. I've seen people be bringing golems. I saw to this morning on One Hive Gazettes that they would hasten some balloons on the uh, a single defense. And if they're able to funnel away, they'd send a test miner to the Inferno to trip the uh, skeletons and bombs onto the Queen, and I think that's a really good idea. Something I might toy with in the future if I get to play with 10v, uh, or 10v10, because I was doing a 10v11 on all my Town Hall, hit, Town Hall 10 hits this war, so I don't know if that's in the cards for me. Town Hall 10v11 is just, just something that needs to be treated with some urgency and take some pride in the work. It's tough, too. So, yeah, right here is where that little trip test a hog or miner would work out really well, because he had two bombs there as they wrapped around the uh, Inferno. And really did some major damage, but uh, he was able to heal through it because the Inferno was basically one shot. So he gets a little bit of damage. One single miner goes and trips up the double bomb on that Inferno, which was great. because we got this big goal group around here, still being aided by the Keen, who should probably pop his ability so he keeps the, the miners inside, but looks like they are starting to trickle out. Got a uh, pocket skelly too, still. Plus heal spell. So we get some uh, miners in to do some more damage on that Inferno. Take it down to about half health. And just continuously weaken it up. Heal spells down. It's going to get those miners a little bit closer up to full health. And we're going to drop the skeleton spell on the wizard towers and the uh, expo. So it turns its attention away from the miners, giving them a slight breather as they go in there, do the damage, bounce back to the inferno, and they're going to finish up the rest of the stuff. Nice hit in and out. And I think we had Vortex as the other one? Or no, it was Jack Ralph on number 20. And this is a pretty attack. Vortex hit it the same way, almost got it. Or no, it was Exodus, I think. There we go, got a nice bowler funnel going in here. Taking out two, us two uh, back buildings at once. Drops a giant to tank for Queen as she starts to work her way in. I think he's got another giant for her. 
No, he does not. So Queen has already taken damage from a cannon. CC Bowler's down. We get our Rage Spells down. And he's going to send in some Wall Breakers to let everybody in. Wall Breaks, so this is a difference than uh, the attack prior. Is, uh, they try to break the walls over here, but broke this side for Queen to get in and start taking out storages. Uh, she's already used her ability, so hopefully she gets on that cannon right away. She does. Queen takes all that Inferno. Look at the value that these bowlers are getting. Will not get in there to take out the Tusks, the Inferno. Doesn't really need her to. Bowlers break out. They're going to start walking around. So really, we just got a bunch of bowlers going around causing some major damage right now. We got a couple hogs in. Once they take out that cannon, one single hog is going to do pretty good at taking out these uh, defenses over here. Unless the, the keen takes it out, or the mortar takes it out. Uh, friendly keen is on the Inferno, so that will go down as well. Hound is on the keen, decides he's going to fly away to chase the golem. Uh, that was another issue with the previous attack, is uh, the golem was in the way of the baby dragons. But we have baby dragons just working their way through. Going to take out this uh, Tesla, or this wizard tower, leaving just a Tesla that will target them, and it's fixated on a golem that was nearly full health because the healers have been on it. So we send a test hog onto the Inferno, get the double bomb gone. The baby dragons are all being trickled in to finish the base off. So real surgical precision here on the babies. This is a beautiful attack. Definitely a highlight raid. Alright, let's go see what our nines did. I'm just going to show, show a couple fresh nines because... Uh, they weren't there weren't that many. Although Mr. Master did six pack fresh. Uh scrolling through because Blaine likes this stuff real fast. So we'll go with one with Mr. Master. I don't think I've saw seen a second one yet. And it is not a witch raid. So Riot will be pleased. Starts off with a golem making a wide funnel, wizards. Uh, both golems are going to get on that same mortar. And these guys really uh, work their bases to be anti-witch slap, which uh, hurt yours truly, unfortunately. Uh, did not six-pack. In fact, I didn't even triple on the nine hits that I had this far. Definite bummer. Holes open for the king and queen. Maybe I'll uh, work on busting out the good old stoned hobo again. Who knows? We got WHF this week. We gotta see <sighs> well, how they set up their bases. I don't know. Keen pops his ability. I don't think we have uh, CC bowlers in this at all. So Keen and Queen are gonna work their way in. Queen's gonna take out that pup, that hound and have to deal with the pops momentarily. Oh no, she turns her attention away. That was uh, some odd behavior. So loons are going to work their way through. Got another haste down to work their way to the final air defenses. Both, of, both air defenses are shooting at the same hound. So that works out pretty well. Get a poison down to protect those balloons as the pups are hassling them. Less, pu less hound breaks and gets pups on pups. Heal spell down for these wizard towers. And that's a wrap. Nice hit, Vic. We will go with Riot's OP attacks for his fresh hits. I don't think I saw the second one. I may have. This kind of looks like the general. Is this really the general? I don't know. It seriously has the same channels that the general used to have. Came down on a troll Tesla. 
Could this just been a complete failure that he's cleaning up? Oh, our, our nines didn't have the greatest war. I think it was like a 54% or something like that, the efficiency. And we ended up doing like four dips, so definitely wasn't ideal. We did have some fresh uh, 11v10s 11, 11 too because of this. Which does always affect the outcome, affect what the war, the 11s can do. Uh, especially because dragons just seem to hate our clan. I don't, I don't get it. These guys had some rough looking dragon raids and still got the three stars and ours. I, I just can't tell what's going on with them. We got a second troll Tesla down there. Really interesting. I wonder if there's a giant bomb that's down there too. Does not look like it. Uh, Queen just popped a giant bomb though. And she's gonna work on breaking in. We'll go get the second. Go get the next air defense and start hitting some uh, expos. So she can keep doing what she's doing. It's a useful wall breaker moment. This must not be a fresh hit. Right, you disappoint me. Because you drop balloons right on those troll Teslas still. I just want the queen to walk down that channel. Okay, so there's no giant bombs in there. And he... Drops a dick pointing at you swag. We'll call it that. No word yet on if he's facing a uh, CWL finds and suspensions yet. We'll keep we'll we'll keep you posted. And um, let's see here. We'll do Pumpa and Harry Potter, and I think we'll call that that. Um, let's take a look, see what else we got here. We do got a good Miller hit. So, Pumpa, Harry, and Miller will show. Interesting air defense setup. I'm just going to times two this intro. Some of these intros are so long. I bet he would have the uh, air defenses and Ar Archer Queen all stacked up together. Jump spell misses its part, his mark, so he's got to break in. Then we'll get the hopefully rage spell down to take everything out. Poison down for the CC. Uh, has a giant bomb there, but looks like the wizard just missed it, so they are able to work on that baby dragon. And bowlers take out all the air defenses pretty easily. He'll spell down for the balloons as they face uh, wizard towers and red bombs. And I don't think we have hounds tanking everything. It's going to be fun watching them go through that Tesla farm unless there's still a hound there. Yeah, there's still a hound there, so the hound starts taking the damage it looks like. But I don't think it's going to get taken out before the Tesla farm does. Maybe. I don't know it's a balloon that was getting the beating. Can't see the hound's uh, health. Nope, the hound may go down. No, the expo's on ground. Yep, Skelly's took it out. So, really questionable base. And there you see the out... Oh, actually, this is probably like the one base that didn't totally try to defend Witch Slap. I swear the one I hit, I hit every single out, so outside bomb with healers still. Just brutal. Um, uh, 
else I say we're going to see? Harry Potter. Let's watch him. And then Miller time. Oh, we just watched Harry Potter. Who was by Harry Potter? Mm, yeah, I must be going to my last one here. Let's go with um, Miller time. I don't know how fresh this was if he had hit a two-star base for his first one. But drops a single minion to get a lure. Poison down. Ba Minions are just going to keep the baby dragon in the poison. And the witch. Oh no, baby dragon comes in to help. And the baby dragon will go start doing some funneling. Or he targeted the skeletons and decided he's going to go get himself killed. So a queen should step up, take out that air defense, I would assume, is the target. Uh, got a skeleton spell, so probably using that on the queen. Queen doesn't have a super crazy run around. Sorry, I was just checking my uh, given feedback to one of our builders. I might do some 10v10 uh, tips and tricks for, uh, or Town Hall 10 builder tips and tricks videos kind of like a little bit of micro chunks of uh, different methods of how to set things up we'll have to see I need my Eamon to get back from vacation so that way I can uh, him and I are pretty much all base building in our DMs in fact, he's on vacation building bases still. Sorry, if I'm going on vacation, I'm deleting Clash and Discord. <laughs> That's how I roll. I'll see you when I get back. I think I even think our leader did that because he's on, he's on holiday right now. He may have done the same thing. At least I would, especially being in a different country. Um, yeah, that's about all I got for this one. Uh, Rough War, guy look to bounce back next week against, uh, WHF. Uh, I think Elite's got a bit, a little bit of a strange matchup. I know they have a defenseless 11 right now. Uh, for real, guys. Only, uh, started that request before I started recording. Whatever. Uh, but yeah, I think, uh, well, we'll see what we get base-wise out of it. Uh, I'm not in the war, so I'm probably not going to pay too much attention. Uh, just take the time to build my bases. Get uh, get everybody prepared for the weekend. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got for today. You guys, thanks for watching.